Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spring Spanish. Yo soy María Fernanda y soy una de las profesoras de español. I am one of the Spanish teachers here at Spring Spanish. Y hoy, and today, we will be talking about the word gringo. Probably you're here to understand what gringo is, where it comes from, or why do we use this word to refer to the English speakers? Did you notice I said English speakers and not US Americans? Well, mis amigos, there are different theories about where this word comes from, but stay until the end of this video, because believe me, no es lo que crees, it's not what you think. So let's find out together, shall we? Before we start with today's video, guys, por favor, si te gustan mis clases, please, If you like my lessons, let me know by leaving me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to receive the five free weekly lessons that we have on our channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Do it now. Yep, yeah, now. And the bell to get the notifications for all the lessons. Now, let's do this. Why gringo? Para empezar, ¿de dónde viene esta palabra? To start, Where does this word comes from? Well, guys, I did some journalist work and I did digital interviews and this were their answers. Hello. Gringo? ¿De dónde creo que viene la palabra gringo? ¿De dónde viene la palabra gringo? El origen de la palabra gringo. Viene de que dicen de una historia de cuando había una guerra contra Estados Unidos, realmente no recuerdo quién, que decían que para distinguir o para decir a los americanos que avanzaran, la única manera de diferenciarlos era diciéndoles el color que tenían en su uniforme, que era como el color verde, que por eso decían green, y por eso decían green go, de verde avanza. I think that it might be something about Uh, how it sounds and it might be something about green and go. Creo que tiene algo que ver con la guerra civil mexicana, en la que el bando contrario, el bando estadounidense, vestían de verde. The color green and a war, I think. But I'm not sure, to be honest. I can't remember. Los mexicanos no sabían hablar inglés, entonces les gritaban green, de verde, porque su uniforme era verde. Green, go. Y pues los paisanos acá del norte dijeron, ah, estos pinches gringos, ¿no? Nada más, nada más están diciendo eso. Entonces, según yo, pues de ahí viene, de ahí viene el término, pero probablemente estoy equivocado. Interesting, right? There are some similarities in their stories, but as you can see, we're not really sure about its origin. What do you know and what do you don't know? How the hell do I know what I don't know? That's a really good question. Believe it or not, the word gringo is not only used to refer to people from Los Estados Unidos, the USA, and I think this was caused more because you believe everything that Abuelito says, so all the stories told by our Mexican ancestors. However, the word gringo It's referred to anyone who doesn't speak Spanish. So I would say that in terms of interpretation or even translation, it would be similar to the word foreigner in English. According to Maria Fernanda's dictionary, gringo, cualquier extranjero con tez blanca que no sea latino, any foreigner with white skin that it's not Latino. That's racist, bro. Did you ask him? Did he ask me what? I'm just fucking you. <laughs> And well, my friends, that's it. I will see you in another video. Adios. Of course, I am just kidding. <laughs> Although what I said is kind of true, hay historias diferentes, there are different stories on where this word started. Some of the people say that it comes from la música, music. Either the song Green Road the Lilacs O or La Musica Irlandesa, the Irish music, Green Road the Rushes. I have never heard this theory in my life, but it exists. The theory I know, or at least the one I grew up with, 
that is very widespread is that this war got its popularity because of the Mexican-American War in 1846, in 1846, donde los soldados mexicanos, where the Mexican soldiers, would ask the American soldiers wearing the green uniforms to go back home. So they would say, green, go home, green, go. This theory kind of similar to our interviews, right? But nobody can prove this theory until now. But actually, the theory that has proof in history is the one of El Diccionario de Esteban de Terreros in 1787, the one from Esteban de Terreros Dictionary in 1787, where it's stated that in Malaga, Spain, they would refer to gringos to anyone that had a certain accent different from Spanish. <sighs> Wait, what? This is actually similar to Maria Fernanda's dictionary's definition. Ya ven, amigos? You see, my friends? No estaba tan perdida. I wasn't that lost. So, final verdict. Here's a story that is the most probable. Gringo comes from the word griego, that in Spanish means Greek. And in the past, they would refer to someone as griego if they would speak unintelligibly, means no Spanish. Now, since Mexicans have the most contact with non-Spanish speakers from the USA, it kind of seems obvious that we refer to the US Americans as gringos. But as you found out today, that's not the case as Canadians are gringos too. And mis amigos, if you hear someone calling you or referring to someone else as gringo, do not take it like in an offensive way because we are just saying that you are un extranjero, a foreigner. And by all means, we do not want you to get out. Hay otras palabras en español. Are there any other words in Spanish that you want to know their meaning or their origin, then let me know in the comments below so I can prepare another special video just for you. I can't wait to see you next week to help you take your Spanish to the next level. Don't forget we have a free Spanish training where we explain the method that we use at Spring Spanish Academy. And also you get a free personalized lesson at the end of the training. So feel free to check that out and my videos and the other Spring Spanish teachers to improve your Spanish. Hasta la próxima. Adios. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and share the videos with your friends.